Now, before you leave on your summer vacation, we have to go over three big categories of safety tips so that you will stay safe and enjoy your summer. The first one that we're going to look at is the sun safety. Then you have your bike safety and finally the water safety tips. That sun is hot. On those warm Nova Scotia days, you have to be careful that you're always protected. You don't want to end up with a sunburn or in later on, years from now, have other issues such as skin cancer because you didn't protect yourself earlier on. So here are some sun safety tips that you should be aware of. Number one, always use sunscreen. And the sunscreens that you use you have to make sure that they have an SPF, which is a sun protection factor of 15 or more. Um, babies, you should use at least a, a, a 30 plus uh, to protect the, 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 the little skin. Second thing, wear a hat that covers over your ears because you don't want to get a sunburn on your ears or the back of your neck. Avoid peak hours. What they call peak hours is when the sun is at the angle um, of Earth and it is at the hottest times, and that's during 12 to 4 p.m. And if you have to be outside, make sure that you try and take shade when possible, okay? So stay in the shade. Don't sunbathe like a goddess and, and, and end up getting burned. You also not only have to hydrate your insides, but you have to hydrate the outsides. Make sure that your body is full of fluid so that you can, um, your pores are nice and, and hydrated. The last thing is know your moles. Now this sounds like a funny little thing, but you need to make sure that you are aware of all the moles that are on your body so that if there's any changes that you can go and seek um, your doctor's guidance or support. This here is what you call a UV index chart and you can find them in your newspapers or on the local weather channel. They often will show the daily report and a UV index is the rays that are coming from the sun. It's a harmful rays uh, coming through our atmosphere and they they change depending on the weather. So two or less of a UV index is a low exposure level. So it says it's, you're safe to go outside for longer periods of time. A UV index of three to five means that it's a moderate level. Uh, this is where, you know, you definitely still need to be wearing your sunscreen, but um, you don't want to be outside for longer periods of time. Six to eight, this is the high area and this is where you start to burn very quickly out in the sun. Uh, the time as well, as you increase in your index, it takes a, the period of time it takes you to burn is a lot less. So shorter periods of time out in the sun means that you can get burned a lot quickly. Uh, 11 plus is definitely extreme. We don't often see a lot of extremes in Nova Scotia just because we're so close to the ocean. Boat safety. We are, like I just said, almost an island being in Nova Scotia. So therefore, we're almost surrounded by water. A lot of the activities that we do in the summertime are certainly around boat safety, um, or about boating or canoeing or uh, anything swimming, anything that has to do with being on the water. So here are some boat safety tips to protect you while you're, you go out. Number one, you should learn to swim. It's important if you are going on a nice cruise or if you are just canoeing or kayaking with a friend. Make sure that you know how to swim. The second thing is, is always wear a life jacket. They can be a little bulky, but your life is much more important than how you look. Check the weather. If there's a storm or if the, the winds are too high, then this is going to cause the waves to be really high as well. So you have to make sure that you check the weather to make sure that you're not stuck somewhere out in the middle of the ocean and unable to make it back before the uh, weather approaches. 
Second last thing is always make sure that you boat with a partner. You don't want to do this alone. If something ever were to happen to you, then um, you at least have a partner that's able to assist you. Last thing is don't go out unless you tell uh, somebody that that you're heading out there and where you plan on going and what time do you plan on returning. Keep those things in mind. Moving on to bike safety. A lot of us have bikes. We, we um, bike around the city, we'll bike out in the cottage areas, things like that. But we're, because we're right downtown Halifax, there are some specific rules that we have to follow because we now have to share the road with other vehicles, cars and trucks. So you have to be sure that you're following the rules. One of them is making sure that your bike is the right size for you, that it fits. Um, a lot of the bike companies that you would purchase a bike at will, will size you up to your the proper bike so that your feet are at a certain height and the chair is at, a, or the seat is a certain height as well, so that you're not overstraining or you're not bunched up. The most important thing is to always wear a helmet, but make sure that the helmet is a certified helmet uh, that fits you properly. Again, anytime you go and purchase a helmet, they will fit the proper size to your head. Keep it fastened, always. The next thing is, is knowing the rules of the road. You need to know which direction of the road you should be riding on. You always ride with the traffic, not against the traffic. So you're going in the same direction. You should also know your turn signals, left, right, and stop. Remember, if you're going with the traffic, then you're always going to use your left hand so that the, the oncoming vehicles are able to see which way you're signaling to turn. The other thing is, is because you're younger and you boys and girls are all at the age of um, 10 to 12, well, you could ride on the sidewalks because you're small enough. You don't want to be um, on the streets unless you have an adult that's with you preferably guiding your direction. If you are on the sidewalk, please be careful of the oncoming walkers or runners. You have to share the sidewalk with them. The last thing, like I mentioned about being out in the sun as well, is always hydrate with uh, water for longer trips. Make sure you have some water in you and you don't want to get dehydrated. So there are some safety tips. Remember to protect yourself from the sun. Play safe on the streets and in the water so that you can enjoy your summer vacation. Bye now.